Hi everyone, this is a quick video demo to show the uh, method that I've used for uh, calculating the uh, efficiency of the coil. And here we have my super build uh, uh, up against gravity as far as the coil is concerned because the coil moves up and down like this. So it's perfectly set here. And the uh, coil is uh, connected in series now. Uh, here's the wire going back across to the uh, second uh, winding there. And there are the two leads coming in. And um, the method of measurement is uh, basically the uh, end of this bushing here up to this uh, piece of uh, masking tape that can slide back up and down. And uh, that's the uh, fold, uh, full full. Uh, travel position up there and it's just a little touch over 23 millimeters so let's just call it 23 millimeters and I've measured that very accurately uh, with uh, my caliper here digital caliper and uh, you know that's uh, there's no errors there so that was rested on here and just below the uh, bottom of this uh, uh, masking tape here so that's the distance that the coil will travel with a fixed uh, capacitor bank and to uh, get an idea of what I'll uh, use is um, because I need to work with a very low voltage uh, I need a very a very um, uh, powerful capacitor bank and here we have a super capacitor of 650 farads and you can charge these up to 2.7 volts and uh, at this time, I'll connect my uh, voltage meter terminal here, and it's uh, charged at <coughs> 2.7195. Uh, at this time here, we haven't started it. It always uh, fluctuates a little bit on this digit here. It uh, seems to constantly be decharging itself. and. Um, We'll uh, be using that voltage to uh, trigger the coil to make the travel up. And as soon as I hear a little bit of a kind of a click sound, I know that it's hit the magnets on the top here as it travels. And that's when I'm going to release the switch. The switch is going to be very simple. Basically, uh, this connector uh, negative here will go on this terminal. And I'll uh, look at a travel. And then as soon as I hear the little bit of touching the magnets, I'll release the... Uh, the uh, negative terminal and here we have a, another capacitor bank which is two 6,000 microfarad capacitors in parallel and we have a nice uh, shock shot key diode here and uh, that's going to be recovering the flyback when I basically remove the uh, contact and as the coil falls back down with gravity it will charge this capacitor bank because obviously it's also a generator like I've been saying so uh, that's all connected here and right here I have a meter which is uh, my LCR meter and uh, right now we're going to just check this uh, capacitor bank here as far as what uh, the uh, value is so that's important for the uh, mass to be accurate it's now testing that capacitor bank and as you see <coughs> we have uh, 12,000 uh, let's it's about 12,200 uh, microfarads or that's actually 12.174 uh, millifarads so I've tested it a few times and it's pretty well in the range of 12.2 uh, uh, millifarad or 12,200 uh, microfarad it'll just keep climbing a little bit here uh, but that's about its max right there. So we know that our capacitor bank is uh, accurate and we'll uh, replace this uh, with this meter here and this meter here will be uh, giving us a display of the uh, voltage on our capacitor bank and we have a little bit of voltage there. I'll short the terminals and that little bit of voltage could have been the uh, inductance uh, capacitance meter here charging the cap capacitor to just give you a bit of a, uh, of a reading so uh, now we'll plug that back in so as you see now our capacitor bank is at zero and uh, let's uh, do one more check here uh, what we've got okay see the <laughs> 
that I've been using the capacitor bank here just uh, for a few uh, tryouts here before I'm doing the video and I guess the capacitor is slightly uh, recovering. So we have a voltage of uh, 2.07197 before we go ahead and, and, and activate this and we'll actually have to wait a little bit as well once uh, it stops and I don't know if I can even hold the video that long because it takes a while before the uh, capacitor stabilizes itself. So the value that you'll see after I've um, let go of the power switch, uh, it might not be exactly that. So you'll have to trust me on this. This video is just basically to show you the process that I've used to uh, de determine the amount of joule value uh, the coil needs uh, to travel that distance. So. Uh, there you go that is the uh, voltage there and I'm going to go ahead and and connect this uh, switch here and uh, that bank there is at very well zero and here I'll give you a shot uh, as I connect this and there we go up and that was the full travel we heard a little click here we have <coughs> the voltage on the uh, recovery side and we're at about this uh, recovery capacitor has a little bit of difficulty maintaining the uh, capacitor charge but let's let it drop down a little bit we can call that uh, 2.4 uh, volts there that we were able to recover on the 12,200 microfarad bank and um, this is where we're at here and that will also uh, go through a little bit of recovery so we'll have to wait to uh, see the results on that as well so as you see now it's uh, recovering a little bit and um, like I said you're gonna have to just uh, trust me on this I'm not trying to fool anyone basically this video is just to uh, give you a uh, an idea of the uh, process that I use to uh, determine the efficiency of the coil and uh, that's about it these are the instruments that I've used and these are the capacitors that I've used uh, the only difference is the uh, voltage that I was using was more in the 2.7 volt or 2.6 volt uh, range compared to 2.07 uh, that's so it was traveling maybe a little bit faster as it would go up but I think the uh, results should be pretty well generally in the same uh, range so it's about one joule I think of energy for it to uh, travel all that distance uh, you heard it hit the magnets there maybe I left it on a little bit too long so uh, it's kind of hard to do all this and hold a video camera in the same time to get an accurate result what I had done in the uh, previous uh, tests is uh, I have done, I, I did like many uh, tests and just took the average of what I could see. So uh, this was uh, the method used and uh, thanks for watching. Bye now. The results will be posted in the uh, forum topic uh, of the uh, math. And if we look at uh, what we have now, as you see, it's still uh, recovering a little bit, so I'll get the final numbers on that. Thanks. Bye now.